Hi friends, it's Nadi here. Welcome back to my channel. Today is a very simple recipe. We are going to make baked custard. This is a very, um, very popular dessert in Guyana and around the Caribbean. So guys, let's get started. These are all the ingredients that I'm going to use. I have here six eggs, which I have already put in a bowl, just the cut time. I have one can of condensed milk, one can of carnation evaporated milk, some almond essence, um, freshly grated nutmeg. I am going to use ginger, just a teaspoon of grated ginger. I have a cup of whole milk. And also I have one teaspoon of custard powder. And this is the custard powder that I'm using. So to start with, I am going to dissolve the custard powder with some of the milk. So I'm just going to pour a little bit in here and stir it up. So I'm going to use my blender for this recipe. You can also do it by hand or hand mixer. So the very first thing you want to add your eggs in and I'm going to add the whole milk. Next, I'm going to add the carnation milk. Make sure you're shaking your carnation milk well before opening it, okay? So next, I'm going to add the condensed milk. I'm going to add the custard powder that I have dissolved. Ginger, just about a teaspoon. And I'm going to add the freshly grated nutmeg. Almond essence, like about a tablespoon. Then I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna blend this for about two minutes on low speed. So once I'm done, it's gonna become so nice and creamy. So this is looking good now. So I'm just going to open this and guys, it's looking so good. It's all so nice and creamy. Everything is so well blended into it. So I'm gonna just pour this into my pan. You know, it doesn't matter. You can use any kind of pan. So the very last thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to grate some nutmeg and try to use the fresh nutmeg. It always gives it such a nice flavor. So my oven is preheating at 325 degree. So I like to do this in a water bath and guys do the water bath, place the hot water when you put your pan in the oven. I'm just doing this for the purpose of the video. You want to be very careful not to get burned. So I am going to place this in my oven and I am going to drop the temperature to 300 degree. This usually take about 40 to 45 minutes and this is all done. And again, it depends on what kind of pan you're using. It may take longer. This is looking so gorgeous right now, but we're going to let this cool and I'll come back and cut into it. So guys, make sure it's cooled completely as I was so anxious to cut into it. And well, I guess it's okay, but make sure yours is cool completely. So I'm just going to take a piece out and let's see what it looks like. This is looking so good, guys, just the way I wanted it. It's nice and creamy. It have a little jiggly texture to it guys it's so yummy so thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and share subscribe and i will catch you in my other videos